Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Sound, the channel created for you by you. And in this episode, we'll be covering shortcuts in Affinity Designer. But before I cover shortcuts, I'd like for you guys to take notice on the Affinity Designer website. They have just been awarded the runners up in the Apple's Best of 2014 category. And because of that, they are now giving a 20% discount on all new purchases. So if you were kind of on the fence about purchasing the application, um, this would be a great time to purchase it now. I don't know how long that's going to run. Okay, so shortcuts. Well, let's go to our application. Shortcuts. So shortcuts are kind of like one of those things that I see a lot of people use. Some people I see still go to grabbing tools or going to the, um, the menu at the top as well. And that's fine, but I think you would be more efficient I think you would improve your workflow if you would use shortcuts and I just want to kind of demonstrate how I use shortcuts and how they make um, designing or creating uh, a new piece of art uh, a little bit easier a little bit faster because it's kind of almost like in some cases kind of like sketching you know sketching is just it's just this fluent fluent kind of movement between your hand and the paper and your eyes so we kind of want to get that same kind of movement when you're designing or trying to sketch out an idea you know you'll see in the uh, demonstration that I give that I'm not going to be totally perfect I'm not worried about being perfect on certain things but I just kind of want to get the idea down first and then I can go back and I can refine it later but I just want to show you how shortcuts work and um, and uh, what are the shortcuts in Affinity Designer I'm not going to cover all of them uh, there is a cheat sheet I believe on the Affinity Designer forum and the uh, user, I think his name is 10 on 20 or 10 on 12, I believe. Um, I'll put his link to his cheat sheet that's in the forum in this video, okay? So that you guys can go and download it for yourself and print it out, you know, post it up on the wall and start committing it to memory, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so I have this new document set up here. Um, I'm going to try to explain as many of the shortcuts as I'm doing it, but there's going to be times where I'm just going to be moving along and not paying attention and I might forget to explain some things. If that happens, there's two things you need to look out for. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a, um, a little highlight of the shortcut that I'm using at the time, and also to the right of the screen here in the history area you'll see everything that I'm doing within the history so if you miss something just roll back and you can look at those two areas and you'll know what I did at that particular step okay so uh, quickly let's just go through the tools um, the shortcuts for the tools the V key is the move tool the A key is the note tool the P key is the pen tool the N key is the pencil tool the B key is the brush tool the G T is the gradient tool that's G and the um, transparency place image crop they do not have shortcut keys as of yet uh, the M key will cycle through the different shapes except for the special shapes area down here and that's because you actually have to pick a particular special shape here the T key will give you the text I don't use the uh, the pan the pan tool or the hand tool um, you know that's H on your keyboard and Z respectively for the zoom I actually use the space bar to move and pan and then I actually use either pinch on my keyboard and I also may use double finger um, gestures as well to move it around the pan as well or I might use um, command plus or minus or command zero to frame everything okay so that right there is a lot of great useful shortcut uh, shortcuts so I don't have to keep going to the left hand side and selecting these things or um, you know moving up to the top menu I, I think that uh, that just takes away from time and takes away from your focus okay so let's get started with something really quick here uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a simple scene here and I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm just gonna kinda design it as I go okay so I'm gonna hit the M key on my keyboard and I'm going to drag out this shape okay it's just a rounded circle but that's okay I don't really care 
the V on my keyboard. I don't really care about what shape it is right now because I'm just using it as my background. It could have been square, but it's fine. Okay, I'm going to hit the uh, command. Uh, actually, I'm going to hit the... I'm going to change the color of this. So I'm going to make it this purple. Maybe I'll make it a deeper purple. Okay, and then I'm going to hit uh, command L to lock that layer. So you can see right here that it's uh, it's locked. This item is locked, right? And if I want to unlock it, I would hit command shift L. Okay, so we're going to hit lock. And as you see, everything is showing up here. Okay, all right, I'm going to go back to my uh, marquee tool here. And I'm going to hit M. Uh, I want that square. I just want a simple square. And I'm going to just draw out this shape. Okay. And I'm going to change the color of it to maybe this yellow. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, M, M on my keyboard. I'm going to make a, another shape. Maybe over here. Something like this. Then I'm going to use the V key. I'm going to move this into place like so. Um, command plus to zoom in. Uh, v key. And command plus to zoom in. And if I was way out here and I just wanted to focus on this, actually I could just double click on that item and it will zoom in onto the selected item. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to V, hold down the option key and shift. Shift to constrain option is to drag and copy. So that's instead of going up here and saying edit, copy, and then edit, paste, or hitting command V or command C, and command. Uh, v to copy, commands, uh, command C to copy, command V to paste. Um, I'm just using the option and dragging. Okay, so that's another another way of doing something right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hit my marquee tool. I'm going to hit the shift to constrain to get a perfect square. Um, zoom in a little bit here. Hit my V key. And I'm going to size this down. Maybe something like that. That looks good. Hit that option key again. I'm gonna drag that out. I'm gonna drag that out. Okay, I'm gonna um, let's see. I'm going to select uh, these three items. Okay, everything's within the selection box. Make sure your selection box is around all three items because if it's not, then the third item will not be selected. But you see, if I get down here, it's highlighted. Now it's selected. Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna hit. Um, this tool here to uh, space them out vertically. Okay, so I'm kind of just I'm thinking this out now. Um, trying to move quickly too for you guys. And let's see, I'm gonna uh, hit option. I'm gonna drag this down here. Drag this down here. Just drag down here. Something like that. Okay. I'm gonna hit the marquee tool, and um, I'm gonna draw another square here. And I'm going to make it black so I can see it, or that purple, but I'll make it black. V so I can see it. I'm going to drag it here, and I'm going to hold down Shift. And um, actually, I'm going to hit uh, Option, hold down Option, and Shift. I'll move this over. Like something, something like this, I guess, right? I'm just eyeballing this right now just so we can get through this quickly. I'm going to take these two items here. I'm going to take this background item and I'm going to subtract it. So now it's made a hole within this square. Okay, so we have that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this, 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 and this, and this, and this, this, and this. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Why can I not select you? That's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna do a selection this way. I'm gonna select all these items from here, from bottom to top, okay? And I'm going to hit Command Copy, Command V, okay? And then I'm gonna hit Flip, and I'm gonna hold down the Shift key, and I'm gonna drag that over to the other side. So now I just made a duplicate. So I duplicated that whole side without having to rebuild the whole thing. Okay, so I got this little, little alien spaceship thing going on here. I'm gonna shrink that down. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to drag. Okay. And then I'm going to grab both of these items, hold down the option key, and I'm going to drag that over. 
And then, you know what? I'm going to select these again. And I'm going to hold the Option key and drag that over. You see, instead of doing one by one by one, I was able to do that way. Now, that's one way to, to uh, duplicate something. Now, I'm going to select all of these items. I'm going to scale them down all at once, like so. Okay. And then I'm also I'm going to group this so we can clean that up. Now you can see that whole layer stack is kind of compact and a little bit cleaner, right? And I'm going to take Option and I'm going to drag it down like so. And then I hit Command J, Command J, Command J, Command J, Command J, and that's called power duplicating. Okay. So I just make duplicates um, very quickly by using that function. Okay. So I'm going to go down here and um, oh, I just use you see I just actually went and select a tool. But I could have just hit M on my keyboard. So I'm gonna drag this shape out here and I'm gonna make it the same yellow and then maybe um, drag another one here, drag another one here, maybe drag something like so here. And this should start looking very familiar to you, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll select all those and let's see, um, I'm gonna center those, okay? I'm going to group them. I'm going to scale it down like so. And maybe I want to scale. Maybe I want to scale this down too. So let me just zoom in here. All right. Zoom back out. Okay. So as you see, I created this scene pretty pretty quickly um, using some ba very basic shortcuts to get around. Now just think if I kept doing edit, copy, edit, paste for each one of these things, you know, and kept selecting on, you know, every one of these tools, like I'm taking away time. I want to be able to create something as I'm thinking about it sometimes, you know, and I don't want to spend too much time looking for tools or looking for functions. So that's why shortcuts are so powerful and you should use them. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. All right, guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Send me a tweet at Mixed Media Salad. Thanks for watching and looking forward to doing another video for you guys. Um, it looks like this may be a every Tuesday kind of thing. So uh, stay tuned. Maybe next Tuesday uh, we'll have a, a, new, a new video. If you have a particular question, post them in the forums. I'm usually pulling questions from the forums and turning them into videos. If you want to hit, hit me with an email directly or tweet me directly, you can do that too as well. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button.